everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys for supporting my videos and for always showing your appreciation down below by liking and commenting if you haven't already done so go ahead and hit that like button show me that you guys are here and if you're new to my channel welcome um, welcome to the family I promise you won't regret stopping by and uh, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well so today is gonna be um, a different video I, I'm gonna do a story time. My mom just brought me some food not too long ago and I was eating some in my last video. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Oh, bomb. I'm going to share a story time or share a story with you guys. I'm gonna do a story time video. So I've done story times here on my channel before. Um, I will put a few of them in the description box below and also in the icon above for you guys to go ahead and click a watch. But today's story time is a little bit different, okay? We have all had our rebellious moments in life. You know, me, I've never had like any tattoos, but I love piercings. And this story is going to be about when I pierced my ears for the first time. Just these. And now, years later, I have one two three four on this ear and two on this ear i've had other things pierced but we're not gonna mention that but um yeah i'm gonna share a story time about when i got my ear spirit so if you guys don't know i am seven day adventist christian and you're we don't believe in like jewelry and like piercing your ears modifying your body in any type of way you know what i mean just being in your most natural state not even like nails and stuff and nail polish is really like acceptable but mostly um mostly piercings so okay so i it was i had graduated from high school in 2013 so this happened in 2013 graduated high school from 2013 and this was in about august um i was getting ready to go away for school like go away to university or whatever and my cousin had come from Jamaica, my mom's niece, and um, I was just like, yo, like, Tara, like, I always wanted to get, I want to get my ears pierced, because me and my friends in high school, we always used to talk about it all the time. Oh yeah, you know, when we're done school, I'm going to get my ears pierced. Because we went to a Christian school as well, so jewelry obviously was not accepted, and we were, we all used to talk about getting our ears pierced when we were done school. So I had my grad party, and my girl Malika had got her ears pierced, and I'm like, shoot. I still haven't done mines yet like I really need to get my ears pierced like I felt like I was behind everybody was getting their ears pierced but me so I I don't know where this courage came from came from but I built up all this courage and I'm like I don't care my mom thinks I'm getting my ears pierced I don't care that kind of attitude and as I said my cousin was here so I said to her I'm like yo like I think it was a Saturday or something I said to her yo let's go to the mall tomorrow I'm getting my ears pierced boom so this was around the time i had like marley twists if you guys don't know what marley twists are they're just like those thick long twists that kind of mimic locks but not really i'll put a picture on the screen of me at that time when i had those twists so i had these long marley twists and I'm just, i had this whole idea i was like yo we're gonna go i'm gonna get my ears pierced and i'm gonna just cover it with my hair i'm leaving for university in like two weeks so like it'll be fine i'll be able to hide it for two weeks so went to the mall got my ears pierced and i tried to get earrings that mimic my skin tone as much as possible so i got these um i don't know if you guys can really see so i got this in my ear as a starter piercing is the they're these uh purple titanium earrings so i'm just like okay let me get those purple ones you can barely see them it's not obviously not flesh colored but it's dark enough to where my hair can cover it got my ears pierced i was like yes feeling myself ear piercings look real good my cousin was gassing me up she's like oh my god like your ears look real good gas me up gas me up gas me up anyways so by this point i'm at home i was wearing my hair in like ponytails i had my hair tied all the time i made sure as soon as i got home i tied my hair and i put my silk cap on and covered my ears 
So there was a few times where like I kind of suspected that my stepdad like saw my ear piercings but I would kind of just like do things like this or like pull my steel cap down or whatever but I was like oh my god like he's not gonna say anything it's whatever. <laughs> Anyways like about a week goes by and um we go we go across the border like a lot my, my mom my stepdad and i we go to the states a lot at this time we always like probably like every three months or so we would travel we'll across the border and go shopping so my mom decided that like for the last trip before i go away to school we go to new york so i went to new york and we were going to manhattan and i was in the back you know it was fine made sure I had my head tied down the entire time that it was covering my ears, had my silk cap on and everything. So I remember this because we were actually driving up to the city now. We get in the city and I'm like looking around, I'm like, wow, da, da, da. they're just like, yeah, we're gonna go grab food to eat. So we we're going to Chipotle. So I'm like, okay, hell no, nah, there's no way I'm going up in Chipotle with my head tie on and none of that stuff. So I took my head tie off. I thought I had it covered i thought i had my ears covered properly clearly i didn't took off my head time sitting in the back taking the scenery looking out the window wow. oh my, God, it's so pretty. my mom turned down and says what? watch y'all you have your ears pierced i was just like yeah I, no i i don't even remember. i can't i froze i was just like oh my god before i can even breathe and say yes actually hear my stepdad yeah I she got a pierce like a few weeks ago, you didn't see it? And I'm like, who is talking to you? Like, I've never wanted to hop out of my seat and fight somebody so bad. I'm like, I turn around and I'm looking at him, I'm like, like who's talk? nobody asked you, like who's talking to you? Like my mom is confronting me at this point. And I'm like, shit, I'm like, this is not a good time because this is the first day into the trip. I think we were there for like four or five days. I'm like, oh, this cannot be happening. She starts going off. When did you pierce your ears? Um, you know we don't do these things. We're Christian. We're Seventh-day Adventists. You shouldn't be doing these things. You let your cousin come up here and influence you to do these things. Why did she get your ears pierced? She was going off. And all I could do was just sit in the back seat like this. And just take it in. I didn't even say anything. I couldn't say anything. At the point in my head, I'm just like, shoot. Now she knows. Like, it is what it is. Anyways. So we get further in the trip and she just stopped mentioning it. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like she's accepted it. I'm in the clear. And um, I remember one night we were laying up in the bed and she goes, I don't know why you crazy She just started going off. I don't know why you crazy You should be doing this. We're Christian. And she just started going off on me and I'm just like, yo, like what is going on? I thought we were fine. I thought we crossed this bridge. Like I thought we were okay. Like I thought we were done. She ranted for a bit and then stopped talking about it. The d next day, we're in the car and we're going, I think we're, we were going to the Converse store or something. I was going to go look for some Converse in a backpack. And she goes, yo, you just mash up yourself. I don't know why you have to go your ears pierced. I'm so upset. This is not you. Da -da -da. She just was just going off. Anyways, me and her at this point, our relationship was kind of shaky because I'm just like, yo, like, are you mad at me or are you not mad at me? Like, you're really pulling typical Caribbean parent behavior right now. Like, very flip-floppy. Anyways, trip goes by. She accepts it. She, the whole time she's there talking to my aunt. Mm-hmm. Of course, she had to go get her ears pierced and whatever. You know how they do. Like, they yell at you and then they go talk your business to somebody else. It was one of those situations. I was just kind of like over it at that point. I'm like, okay, they're pierced already. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm not taking them out. Like, it is what it is. I'm leaving for school in like another week. Like, what are you really trying to do, son? Anyways, so I thought that was over. If you guys don't know, my dad lives in Jamaica. My dad's been living in Jamaica, like moved back to Jamaica for a few years now. And um, yeah, like he, he just doesn't live here. I remember this one night I was sleeping. I think it was like two days before I was supposed to um, move to Ottawa for school. It was like two o'clock in the morning and she busts open my room door. She's like, you know what? After all this recklessness you're doing, I'm gonna tell your father. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, what time is it? It's two o'clock in the morning and you're really coming in my room to yell at me about my ear piercing that I, we just talked about two weeks ago. I'm like, you already lashed out on me. Are we still talking about this? He's like, I'm gonna tell your dad. I just turned to him like, I'm like, so tell him. Like, what do you want? Like, tell him. I'll tell him. Like, what are you really trying to prove to me right now? I got, I'm like, tell him. 
it's two o'clock in the morning you want to tell my dad that bad that i got my ears pierced first of all you guys won't even talk you want to tell my dad that bad that i got my ears pierced tell him like i'm over it tell him listen <laughs> that whole thing was just so nerve-wracking because i literally thought i had it under control i'm like okay i planned it out i'm like get my ears pierced this day hide it for this period of time hiding it this way and then like i'll be in the clear like that will be it like i'll go to school it'll be fine like she'll never know about it but honestly i'm happy that she knows because i'm happy that she found out obviously not in that way like i kind of wanted to tell her but i'm happy that she found out because it would have been worse if i had went to school and then came back home and and came back with my ears pierced because then she would have been like oh you move from home you let the university life distract you and change you oh you, you think you're big now i would have gotten that whole speech so part of me was just like thinking get it over and done with and just let her eventually see it and the other half of me was kind of just like i need to get my ears pierced because I've, I've been talking to my friends about it i'm the only one that hasn't show face so yeah that was a story about behind me getting my ears pierced honestly any piercings after that like i think the next piercing i got after that was the one on this ear i got a second hole and by that time my mom just couldn't say anything i came back she was just like oh so you got a new piercing every time i come back home and i think i got these two done at the same time she goes oh so you got a new piercing and i'm like yeah and the last one that i got on my ear was this one she didn't even say anything at that point i think it was healing still and she's just like oh is it real gold like you're you're messing up your ears like she couldn't say anything I, it was i was so i was already so far gone by the time i got this this one done i was already so far gone first of all i never thought in my life that i would ever have this many piercings but yes i did pierce a lot okay my ears i didn't think i'd have this many piercings on my ears but i just i love piercings I, I like i prefer piercings over tattoos um any other piercing that i have i've had she doesn't know about and we're gonna keep it that way so i'm gonna end the story time right here i hope you guys enjoyed my little story time about the drama behind getting my ears pierced people would obviously not think that getting your ears pierced is like a really big thing but it's not even like a christian or a seven day adventist thing it's like a caribbean culture like it's almost like not 100 percent accepted in every family so i kind of disappointed my mom there a lot when i got my ears pierced but i'd rather her know than not know like why why lie like why hide it you know what i'm saying so I'm pretty much going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button. Hit the notification bell if you guys want to stay notified every time I post. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. Hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.